Good morning. Please, can I speak to Mrs. Amu Asante? Mrs. Rebecca Amu Asante? Yes, please. I'm sorry, she's in a short meeting. Oh, all right. What do I tell her when she's back from a meeting? I called from her husband's office. I'll gladly do. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm told she's in a meeting. Oh, what kind of meeting? Hey, Amele, you wouldn't even let me sit. Jack called. What did he say? I didn't speak to him. I told Barbara to tell him we were in a meeting. Call him and transfer the call. Sure. I was trying to, uh, I was trying to find out how you were, but I couldn't get through. I don't get it, Jake. It's only 10.30 a.m. You've not done anything like this in the past four years. Of course, I mean, people change, don't they? So you've changed. Jake, cut to the chase and tell me exactly why you called. I mean, you don't call the entire day until you're on your way to get me home. Well, you know, I was... I was trying to reach on yourself, but I couldn't get through. So, you know, I had to call... I had to call your office. Just to find out how I am? Well... I left my phone at home. I only realized it when I was trying to call mommy's um, teacher to find out... You mean your phone is not with you? No. I left it at home. So were you able to call the teacher? No, I you know I left the phone. And I have not memorized the number. But I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine too. If you have nothing else to say. And so I go back to work. Yeah, I'll pick you up in the evening, all right? And baby, do remember. I love you. I love you too. Would you believe what Jake just said? What did he say? He said he called to find out how I was doing. And I can't believe him. Why don't you, Becky? Because he hasn't done anything like this in so many years. Come on, Becky. People do change, you know? Exactly what he said. Then he probably has changed. Now tell me, what was your response? I was jolted, Amelie. Even though I was happy he did, I pretended I wasn't. This is a surprise and I intend to reciprocate it. How do you mean? I mean, Amelia, that I am going to give my husband a surprise. You see, he hadn't done what he just did in a long time. And I also haven't done much to bring it out of him. Okay, what exactly do you intend to do? I intend to appear at his office at exactly 12.30. 
and invite him out for lunch. Good idea. Or? That sounds great, but what if... No ifs or buts. All I know is that I have a lunch date with my husband today. When you read my schedule, I didn't hear you say anything that would have my attention from 12 to 2 p.m. Sure, you do not, but there is a conference call at 2 p.m., which you cannot miss. Well, I don't intend to miss that conference call, as I'll be back before 2 p.m. That settles it then. Sure. But should I call him in advance? Read my lips. It is a surprise. Yeah, right. <laughs> Holy shit! The mechanic. My keys. What am I going to do now? She's still not picking? It might still be on silent. I usually turn on the sound on my way here. Okay, maybe you should call her. Probably she will pick. I don't have the number of her. Becky, I think it's high time you wrote some important numbers in your notebook. It will help you in situations like this. Point well noted. Thank you. <laughs> I'll not let the phone ruin my day, which seems to be going rather well. Only God knows why I had to leave my phone at home today. I mean, today of all days. Oh, well, you know what they say, God works in mysterious ways. Hmm? Look, the thing I take that you ran. I'm sure it's been a long time you took a taxi. Look, no, Pastor, look, I'll give you 15. I'll make very late. I beg you, make no talk uh, Boss, I am sure you're in a hurry. And I am also in a hurry. So please don't let's waste each other's time. Next Tuesday at 5.30. And hopefully it won't have... What did you say? Pastor, I said, don't you have a seat? <laughs> Night jacket. Tw 20k aircon guys. Uh, sorry, I don't have. <laughs> 